Hi everyone, in the last video I had shared an action plan for 75 days of preparation for the CAT exam for those of you who are going to take CAT 2021. In that video I had shared that type 1 aspirants who have a lot of syllabus to cover but not a lot of time left should be very selective in their preparation which means that they should be picking up only the chapters which occur most frequently and prioritize practicing them. Now a lot of these aspirants actually reached out to me in the comment section asking for a detailed video as to what those chapters are and even though there are a lot of blog posts out there already which mention these important chapters I felt the need to go through all the CAT exams ranging from 2017 to 2020 and making a list of the chapters especially in the cons section that occur most frequently to be able to give a credible answer to this question. Now even though it was expected that some chapters would be occurring more frequently as compared to others to my surprise there were about five to seven chapters that were occurring so frequently across slots and across CAT exams that if an aspirant just prepares for these chapters he or she may be able to attempt more than 60% questions in the con section. Now I will surely be uploading this excel sheet on the drive and I will put its link in the description bar for all of you to access it for free but what I would recommend you is to go through this list of chapters. These are the ones that occur most frequently and I have listed them in front of you so that you can simply note them down and practice them diligently from now on. What I would suggest you is to purchase only one sort of material either use a self preparation book you can use Arun Sharma's book it's definitely a great book for this purpose I've also created a review for the same you can watch it and the link would also be mentioned in the description bar or you could also use any other coaching material that is available for you or any other self preparation book that has been recommended to you just use one simple material and start focusing on these chapters primarily like I I had mentioned in the last video try finishing the basics as well as level of difficulty two questions by 15th of October that should be your deadline and while you are taking the mocks make sure to analyze how frequently are these chapters occurring and how well are you able to attempt them and get them correct as well. Another request that I had got in the comment section was to do a similar sort of analysis for the VRC section as well as the DILR section. Now when I think of VRC I believe that the answer is pretty simple over the last years from 2017 till the time that I have analyzed these papers every single year the same type of VA questions keep occurring there are only three types first is para jumbles second is para summary and third is odd one out or sentence elimination these are the only three kind of questions that keep coming again and again in the VA section and rest of the questions are RC questions so that would be the simple analysis for VRC if you want to prepare for VA very well practice these three chapters or three topics very well. Now DILR is one of the trickiest sections because it is certainly difficult to predict what is most frequently occurring in this section. I had also mentioned this when I made a video on DILR preparation that year on year this section has been becoming very difficult because of the kind of tricky questions that keep coming in here and it is all the more difficult for the coaching institutes to now actually ascertain whether a question was a DI question or an LR question because they are of mixed types these days. So it is difficult for me to suggest what is a frequently occurring pattern but I would definitely say that there are chapters or topics like arrangements, Venn diagram, set theory, caselets, tables, pie charts which keep coming up again and again and hence these are some of the topics that you can prepare but my recommendation to you to handle DILR section would be to try as many types of questions as possible by taking mocks or sectional tests or topic tests. In the coming days I will also try to dig up some questions or free questions that are available online that you can practice for DILR. I had mentioned in previous videos as well that you can also practice bank PO questions for DILR because the more you practice the more you will be able to create a bent of mind for this section. So that's all guys this is a short and simple video on what are the most important topics for the CAT exam. I hope that this video was of some help. Do access the sheet that has been mentioned in the description bar and if there are any questions or follow-ups that you have free feel to put them down in the comment section. Thanks a lot for watching this and all the very best to you all.